Wow, another beautiful day. I wonder if there's any fish in that water. Okay. It's on the other side of that bush. Hey, Dr. Romano. I see you're out here again. Hi, how are you? I'd like to go over a really good problem on the mole concept for the gen chem section of the dad. So let's get it moving. And let's okay, move. great, Dr. Romano. A little gen chem today. It says, how many kilograms of potassium oxide contains the same number of moles of potassium atoms as a kilogram of potassium chloride? Sounds a little confusing, so let's take it step by step. Start with the given. They're giving me one kilogram of potassium chloride. So I'm going to write down the given. 1.0 kilograms of potassium chlorides. Now they're interested in the number of moles of potassium atoms, which is the moles of potassium. So what I'm going to simply do is to take gram, kilograms and convert it into grams. There's a thousand grams in a kilogram, and that's going to cross out the kilograms. One mole of KCl atoms, or just one mole of KCl, same idea, contains 74.45 grams. That's the, that's the molecular weight of KCl. Grams cancel out. And then I put the same word in the bottom. One mole of KCl contains one mole of potassium atoms. You don't even need the word atoms, but I'll keep it in here for right now. So we now have one mole of the potassium atoms for one mole of KCl for my conversion. And the numbers on the data will be a lot nicer, but 1,000 divided by the 74.45 gave me 13.4 moles of potassium, or potassium atoms. Now here we want to know how many kilograms of the potassium oxide contains the same number of moles. So that means we're going to take the 13.4 moles of potassium atoms, there's one mole of K2O contains two moles of potassium atoms. So the moles of the potassium atoms cancel out. And I now have 94 grams, that's the weight, of K2O per mole. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. And we're now left with kilograms of potassium oxide. When you do the math, math isn't the nicest here. But with a calculator, we got 0.63. Notice I kept it at two significant figures. My final answer, this is two significant figures. Part B, I want to find the percent of potassium in K2O. Well, the amount doesn't matter. All you're going to do is part over whole. There's two potassiums. Each one weighs 39. The whole weight of this is 94. So 2 times 39 over 94 times 100. If you did this out, I don't know, it's about 78 over 94, which is something like 83%. So I'll leave for you to see how close you can come to the 83% mark. All right, I hope this helps. It gives you a good idea on a problem. It was a little confusing. Try to do this and work with it. On the dad, you sometimes see some questions that are weirded or worded a little bit um, strange. That's what I've heard, Dr. Romano. I'm gonna study everything. So I want that 30 in Orgo and a 30 right, in Genka. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Good day, Dr. Romana. Stay cool.